Good afternoon, children. We are back with our geography chapter, agriculture. Though there are talks that uh, the syllabus will be reduced by CBSE, but as far we do not have any knowledge, we will go as usual in the chapter. So uh, we were doing food crops, and we have finished the basic two basic food crops, that is rice and wheat. Now I'll come to the millet group. Now this millet group of crop is also a very important crop especially for the areas which are rather dry. Now these millet groups uh, of crops generally grow in areas which are not suitable for growing rice and wheat. Now these two crops rice and wheat require more care require better quality soil, require uh, water supply uh, whenever it is grown. So this millet group is unlike rice and wheat because it can grow under very dry conditions. It can grow in inferior quality soil. Sometimes you know it is also known as poor man's diet but it is highly nutritious. Nowadays, children, you will find that uh, many nutritionists or dietitians, they uh, pay a lot of uh, stress on this uh, consumption of uh, millets. Even, you know, if you see the videos of Ramdev Baba, he will say that consume rice and wheat less and consume millets more in uh, their place. So, what are the crops that come under this millet group? So basically, we have through three crops under this group. They are Jowar, Bajra and Ragi. And those areas which are having infertile soil or the soil quality has become poor due to soil erosion or the soil has become shallow in that area. So those areas generally grow these crops because they do not require lot of application of fertilizer they do not require lot of application of water so jowar bajra and ragi these two these three crops are also known as inferior crop they are also known as poor man's diet because rice and wheat is costly to buy and consume so because the poor men they consume rice and uh, they consume this jowar, bajra and ragi more and rice and wheat less. So it is no, also known as poor man's diet. But they are highly nutritious. They contain certain vitamins and minerals which are required, very much required in our di daily diet. So let me start with ragi, then uh, jowar, then uh, bajra and then Rag. Now, starting with this joa. Now, uh, one more thing I would like to add here, children. This uh, joa baza ragi are also known as coarse grain. They are, so, they are known as inferior crop. They are known as coarse grain because uh, there is a lot of roughage and which improves our digestive system. So, they are also known as coarse grain. They are also known as poor man's diet. Now, uh, first one is jowar. Now, jowar is a rain-fed crop. Rain-fed crop means it grows with whatever water is supplied by the rain. It does not require any kind of additional input of water. That is, it does not require any kind of irrigation water. Even if the rain is less, then also the crop will grow easily. So in your book it is written it is a rain fed crop. That is it sustains or it survives in whatever water is supplied by the rain. So there are some parts of our country where uh, rainfall after rice and wheat they are uh, a little bit uh, higher. That is, uh, the area is a little bit moist. So, it is in your book, it has been given, given that this jowar grows in, the, uh, jowar is a rain-fed crop 
and it grows in the moist areas without irrigation extra water supply is not required in case of growing of jowar and the state which is producing the maximum amount of jowar is maharashtra and apart from maharashtra there are other states also which are growing rai uh, this uh, jowar and mind it this crops are growing in the areas where rainfall is less because those areas where rainfall is high they are devoting to rai uh, to this uh, wheat and uh, this rice so this crop jowar is a kharif crop it's a summer season crop that not summer season exactly uh, the higher temperature and in the rainy months the higher temperature in the rainy months so it is kharif season crop and it is grown in maharashtra maharashtra is the largest producer after that we have some drier states karnataka mp andhra pradesh telangana now these states receive some amount of rainfall they are totally not dry they receive some amount of rainfall and they are suitable for growing jowar crop so it is a rain fed crop which do not require any amount of irrigation water and it is the third most important food crop in our country in terms of area also as well as production so rice is the first one second is the wheat third is this crop that is our jowar now coming to the next crop that is our um, bajra so in rajasthan children you must have heard it is commonly said bajre ki roti and sarso ka saag we uh, always we use this term in relation to rajasthan so rajasthan the area is covered with sand so the soil requirement is sandy soil and shallow black soil can also grow the term shallow means that the black soil wherever has uh, undergone erosion soil erosion the top soil the fertile top soil has been removed and the layer of soil has become thin so you use the term shallow black so obviously when the top soil has been a part of the top soil not total top soil a part of the top soil has been removed that means that the maximum nutrient is missing so the top most part of the top soil contains the maximum nutrient so if that is washed away automatically the amount of soil nutrient in the top soil reduces so in this uh, crop the requirement is very very simple that is sandy soil and shallow black soil now rajasthan is the maximum producer as i said bajri ki roti we always uh, say about rajasthan so rajasthan apart from that some other states like up gujarat maharashtra haryana they are also growing this bajra so they are highly nutritious in they are high in nutritional value the third important crop in this group is our rag the third most important crop in this group is ragi now for ragi we have a wide variety of soil again i am repeating the soil which is poor in nutrition in comparison to the areas where rice and wheat is grown so poor quality soil areas with uh, drier conditions generally grow this ragi here there are wide range of soil we have red soil in the first chapter you have already studied that this red soil is not very suitable for cultivation so red soil black soil sandy loamy shallow black soils so a wide range of soil is growing this crop and uh, here also karnataka is the largest producer so if you see children the sequence of state maharashtra for jowar rajasthan for bajra 
and this karnataka for ragi so this three states are uh, not very much heavy rainfall zone they are the areas the especially the interior portion that is uh, the portions where, which lie in the deccan trap area those areas are very dry because they lie in the rain shadow area so those areas are very much suitable for growing this ragi so karnataka is the maximum producer apart from that children you will find that some of the hill states the states which are having hill slopes those states are also growing this crop and uh, so we have himachal pradesh we have sikkim uttarakhand arunachal pradesh jharkhand uh, as the producers of this crop that is ragi so mainly the hilly states and uh, that is it's grown in the hill slopes also and uh, the areas where the drier conditions prevail along with that poor quality soil so this is the third most important group this group is highly nutritious although it has been neglected but nowadays children you will find that different multinational companies they are preparing ragi biscuit britannia is producing ragi biscuit you will get them as black colored biscuits even you know children you will find that when your mother does this festival which is prevalent in bihar it's known as jitia at that time just one day before your mother consumes marwa karoti and so that is ragi it's slightly blackish in color they are highly nutritious because of different kinds of nutrient in them and uh, they have roughage which is very much required in our daily diet coming to the next crop that is maize now maize is a crop which is grown as a food crop and as well as a fodder crop it is also grown as kharif crop as well as rabi crop now a uh, food crop because it is directly consumed by the human beings and fodder crop because it is given to the animals the cattle population uh, also feeds on this um, crop and so it is known as a fodder crop now i said that this is a crop which is uh, grown in as a kharif crop in some of the states it is grown as a rabi crop in some of the states so the temperature range of this crop is quite huge so from 21 degree centigrade to 27 degree centigrade because 21 degree centigrade prevails around the winter season so the 21 degree centigrade is all 21 to 27 degree centigrade this range is used for crop which either remains in the soil for a huge length of time or for the crops which are grown both in the rabi season as well as in the kharif season so 21 degree centigrade is the temperature the average temperature of the winter months of our country and 27 degree centigrade is the average crop during the kharif season of our country so you will find that the temperature range in your book is given 21 to 27 degree centigrade because it is grown in the rabi season as well as in the kharif season in our country so because it's grown both in rabi season as well as kharif season there are wide range of crops which are wide range of sorry states which are growing this crop and uh, the use of modern inputs inputs means the things that we put into the soil that is the hyb seeds irrigation water and then uh, the chemical fertilizers pesticides all of them have contributed to its growth and the best soil that is suitable for this is old alluvial soil or you can say the bhangar soil the bhangar soil uh, can be uh, best suited for growing this crop the bhangar soil uh, lacks in fertility does not have much fertility 
because the soil do not uh, get renewed every year due to flooding so here the addition of fertilizer is necessary so hyv seeds then uh, the fertilizers chemical fertilizers and of course irrigation water is required to increase its output so this maize is nowadays a important crop because both the humans and the cattle population are using it for consumption so the important states are karnataka up bihar andhra pradesh madhya pradesh these are the major states growing our maize so children today i have uh, done this millet group and uh, maize next day when i will start i will start with the pulses uh, but today i will give you notes only of uh, millet group uh, because uh, when i'll do sugarcane i will give you the notes of sugarcane and maize together i have three questions for you all first take down the questions your first question is differentiate between the growing conditions of rice and wheat so you have to write the differences in temperature in rainfall condition and soil condition so differentiate between the growing condition of rice and wheat second question why are the millets known as coarse grain why are the millets known as coarse grain and the third question name the three most important food crops according to their position in the country i have said the three most important food crops according to their position in the country now i will give you the notes so take down the notes as we are, you have done of rice and wheat in the same way we will have the same columns and you take down the notes now children first starting with millet so millet is a kharif crop now as in your ncert book there is no mention of temperature rainfall humidity and soil we will not write about this temperature rainfall humidity and soil we will directly go to the column of growing states here the main states are maharashtra karnataka madhya pradesh andhra pradesh special requirement rain fed crop which do not require irrigation grown in moist areas and the special feature third most important crop in terms of area and production okay now coming to the next crop we have bajra the soil is again in this uh, bajra we do not have any mention of this um, growing season and this temperature rainfall humidity in your book so whatever is not there in your ncert book we will not write and they will not ask question whatever is not given so sandy and shallow black soil the growing states are rajasthan uttar pradesh gujarat maharashtra haryana so growing states also if you are unable to write fast you will get it from your book and then here one thing i would like to mention children there is one point which is common to all these three crops that is jowar bajra and ragi we will write only once but uh, you can put an asterisk marks there and uh, so this point instead of writing three times we will write only once you can uh, put a bracket also and you can mention it so this point is common to jowar this point is common to bajra this point is common to ragi so here we will write in the special feature also known as coarse grain and high nutritional value this group of crop can be grown in the areas which have no rainfall and inferior quality soil this group of crop can be grown in the areas which have no rainfall 
and inferior quality soil these two points that is also known as coarse grain and high nutritional value this group of crop can be grown in the areas which have no rainfall and inferior quality soil these two points are common to all the three crops now next coming to ragi here also there is no mention of temperature rainfall the soil is red black sandy loamy and shallow black here the states are karnataka tamil nadu himachal pradesh uttarakhand sikkim and jharkhand then special requirement crop of dry season and as i had said these two points are common for these three crops here at the bottom like i have put an asterisk marks and i have written these two points apply to all the three crops that is jowar bajra and ragi you can write in the same manner or you can put a bracket and write it so next day i will give you the notes of maize and sugarcane together thank you children do the homework compile your notes and happy studying